We're so excited because Maria remembered to press the button this time. <laughs> and we're in the Hasbury Park at the Transparent Clinch uh, Gallery. We have Transparent Tuesday coming up. We have um, the Clinch Crates, uh, which is uh, selling out pretty quickly. Uh, you got to go to Ticket Bud. It's on all our social media, uh, how to find you, to reserve your space, um, all social distancing, uh, etc. And uh, we have Transparent Tuesday, as I said, with Dan Appy. We're excited about that. And, uh, you know, just because the holidays are coming up, we have gotten the All I Can Say DVDs, which are super cool. Of course, uh, Let's Play 2. We have our Tom <laughs> collaboration with these cool uh, sweatshirts and hoodies. Uh, the black hoodie is super cool. Yep. I uh, gotta have the swag, you know. Uh, all sorts of good stuff in here. We've got the clinch shirt. We've got the uh, clinch. Oh, wait. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have the unicorn <laughs> shirt. Uh, we have also the Joe Lentini trippy toe. Um, I did that one. That is pretty cool. Oh, did you do this one? <laughs> yeah. This is uh, the tie dot. <laughs> we do those for fun. And anyway, uh, come and hang out with us. It'll be a good time. Cheers. Welcome to Transparent Gallery. I'm Danny Clinch, and we are in Asbury Park. And we've come up with an idea to do a couple of episodes that we're gonna call Locals and Icons. And so we're asking a bunch of the local musicians that we know, folks who've come here and hung out with us and played music with us on the stage here, to come in and pick out a photograph they love of an artist that they love, and we would have a discussion about it. I would talk about what the assignment was maybe and the good story behind it. And they'll talk about how that artist has inspired them and what they love about them. And then they're going to perform a song, a cover song by that artist. So it's going to be really exciting. We have a great bunch of people that are going to contribute and we appreciate you coming out. Thank you very much. Welcome to this episode of Locals and Icons, as we call it. Uh, we're at the Transparent Gallery in Asbury Park with Dan and Dave Appy from the Mercury Brothers. And uh, we are here to talk about one of the photographs that we uh, decided we would discuss. And uh, one of my favorites and one of my favorite artists uh, is uh, Chris Cornell. And this uh, image right here I took at the Vic Theater in Chicago. Oh, cool. And uh, it was during uh, the sound check. And I was uh, fortunate enough to do one of the um, uh, most recent um, publicity sessions for Soundgarden. Very and cool. it was pretty cool. I went out to uh, Chicago and, and spent a couple days out there and shot the sound check and the show. And of course it was epic because it was like in the Vic, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, I was just curious why you, uh, you know, chose Chris Cornell and uh, what maybe his music means to you guys. Absolutely. Um, I mean, for me, it, uh, it sort of uh, started out my sister. She's uh, 11 years older than me, so she gave us both sort of this influence of music that we might not have been listening to at a younger age. So I was very early um, exposed to Temple the Dog and Soundgarden and Pearl Jam and uh, just like her really introducing me to Chris Cornell allowed me to fall in love with his solo stuff and like he's just such a versatile artist between him being able to do these beautiful acoustic songs and like obviously like his pipes that can't be beat um, but he was always a true inspiration to me as uh, just you don't have to just do the full band thing. You don't have to just do the solo thing. You can kind of do whatever, whatever you need to to, to emote uh, correctly. So um, he he opened my mind a lot in, in that way. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, it's funny. I was gonna say like very close to the exact same thing. <laughs> um, I remember when I was like ten. Um, probably my sister showed uh, showed us. Um, Soundgarden for the first time and stuff like that and when we heard the song Hunger Strike she was like you need to understand something there's nothing wrong with this song 
And I, and I, and I remember that very distinctly because I was like, oh, there might be things wrong with other songs that I didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it was one of those first moments where I was like, um, A, it was a great example uh, to go by, and B, um, you know, there's a critical, uh, a critical eye that people pay attention to with the in, in terms of the music that I hadn't really, you know, realized before that. So, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, and, and do you? Uh, how old were you guys when that introduction happened? Um, yeah, if he was like ten, I was. Uh, if he was nine or ten, I was like six or seven. So, um, and she, like, I really owe her a lot as far as introducing me to even other bands. Like, I wouldn't have really been into like. The Pixies or like Death Cab really at like a super young age, but she was like, "You gotta listen to this." Yeah. And so I was, uh, I really lucked out at being exposed to stuff that nobody else in elementary school or middle school was listening to. Right. If you, there's, you know, a fortunate group of people who had that that person in their lives yeah. that uh, was turning them on to uh, new stuff all the time. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's definitely a, a blessing. I've always considered it a sort of a leg up. On, yeah. uh, the competition from the start. <laughs> uh, well, why don't you say um, the artist and the song that you're going to play? Well, yeah, we're doing um, Hunger Strike by Temple of the Dog, um, inspired by Chris Cornell. <laughs> Danny Clinch, and we are here to talk about a uh, Clinch Crates sale that I'm going to be doing in Asbury Park. We're going to do a little something different uh, this year that I haven't done yet, which is I went into my uh, storage facility and I pulled out a bunch of prints that were part of gallery shows that I've had 
in Asbury Park uh, and elsewhere, really. Um, and uh, I'm gonna just put those up at a discount price uh, because I have so many of them and uh, I think they should be hanging in somebody's house. These are all one-offs, so there's only gonna be one at that price that is framed and that had hung in one of these shows. What's really exciting is I did a, uh, a gallery show in Asbury Park in 2009. It was Bruce Springsteen's 60th birthday and uh, my buddy Tim Donnelly uh, had a thought. He said, hey, we could rent a little space up on the boardwalk and we could uh, do a show of all photographs of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band that were shot only in New Jersey. And so as you can see over here, it's not just Bruce, but it's also the E Street Band. Uh, a lot of these were shot in New Jersey. This was at the uh, convention hall. I actually took this photograph on my birthday in, uh, on January 24th, and uh, it was a big birthday present for me. And uh, there's a bunch more here. I got something from uh, Seeger Sessions. These are all framed. You'll be able to come and have a look uh, at the gallery, which will be at the Asbury Hotel. It'll be around the back where we uh, uh, can be socially distanced. It's like an indoor-outdoor space. One of my favorites here really is this uh, photograph of Danny Federici. And uh, the other thing I wanted to say about this um, this session uh, or this gallery show that I did in Asbury Park, which we called Be True, my dad, Max, came up to help us repaint the, uh, the space that we had rented on the boardwalk. So I called Bruce and I said, hey Bruce, um, you know, we're about to take the show down if you want to come by and check it out. Sure enough, a little while later, Bruce and uh, Patty showed up. I think it was a 51 Hudson convertible with the top down. We were totally blown away by it. It was amazing. Patty offered to let my, my dad drive her car. And so uh, my dad and Bruce hopped in this Hudson. Little did I know that um, this photograph, having been taken uh, on 4th and Kingsley, uh, would be a block away from where what is now the transparent clinch gallery. We also have like images from other uh, shows. Uh, this, in fact, uh, I was um, PJ Harvey that I shot in New York City in 2004. Uh, this is Neil Young that I shot in Nashville right after he did a uh, Heart of Gold film with uh, Jonathan Demme. I see there's some Pearl Jam here. Um, I love seeing a bunch of fellas have a good laugh. Uh, my friend Brian Fallon, this was uh, from Handwritten. This is down in Nashville. Uh, this here is Fish at Big Cypress. There's always a good story. In any of these photographs, I could just sit down and tell you about a half hour story, but I won't right now. We're gonna have a ticketing system that allows us to uh, book a time in half hour increments so that everybody can shop safely without rushing. Of course, you'll be wearing masks and socially distancing. In the event that things don't get any better, we will do this all virtually. We look forward to, uh, to seeing everybody, and it's gonna be November 27 and 28, and at the Asbury Hotel. You know, we'll give you some information on the uh, World Wide Web, and um, it's gonna be fun. We'll see you there.